welcome back to the channel. So today we are here at the new Gun Squad Garage. And as you guys seen in the previous video, we were preparing our burnout cars for the burnout competition on September 3rd. And you know what? We're going with just one car. We can't take two. We're basically letting you guys decide. So we ended up prepping the Mustang right here and also the wide body 370Z. And I know a lot of you guys are saying that we should bring that sucker and we're right there with you guys. But for the 370Z, we were practicing with that a little bit and it's having a little bit of wheel hop, a few other little issues here and there. But you know what? With that 370Z, we could just run it basically clean into a wall. No problems, no questions hey, asked. We can wall tap the whole car, but that car, man, we gotta be real we careful. We gotta be careful, with. man. That's right there is a, is a very nice piece of history, a nice specimen. We don't really want to damage that because it's very sentimental to us. Yeah, you know but what if I mean? we have to, we'll buy a new bumper, dude. You yeah, know if we I mean? have to swap a quarter panel, you know, that's our thing. We could do it. Honestly, it doesn't matter which vehicle we take. Hey, we're gonna go out there we're gonna have fun and we're gonna make some clouds in the sky that's gonna make some rain dude. yes sir i'm telling you but anyways what we're gonna do right now is probably go to parents house and work on the gtm because over here at the shop we can't work on the porsche because we're still waiting on parts we got a door that actually came in today which is awesome but we can't proceed with basically welding anything up until we get the front rear bumper and also the fenders which that should be in here really soon but what we can do is work on that gtm we got a hood over there we want to slap it on the car and basically prepare that sucker for paint job in the very first test drive we've never did an official road test we did it in the driveway Dude, where we, we about almost wiped out we about man. ran into a building which is crazy but we got all the parts that we need the rack and pinion a new shock all that good stuff so i'm excited to actually get that sucker running maybe that'll be our burnout car dude, dude. that'd be in, that'd be actually absolutely Whoa. insane but no wall taps in that thing no 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 you can't dude. get parts dude. dude you'd be waiting half a year for parts on that thing that is just a special car right there as well but anyways we want to go ahead and probably grab that hood with us load it into the truck run to parents house and probably just get straight to work Alrighty guys, so it is officially time to go for our very first test drive in the Factory 5 Custom Supercar. This is a very exciting time right now because I know we kind of just did a little drive in the driveway, almost ended super sketchy, but you know what? We got this sucker tuned up and we're ready to hit the road. And the very first thing that we did was actually swap out this rack and pinion, which that rack and pinion is not something off a of C5 because this car does carry a lot of parts from a Corvette C5. 
but the owner actually, the previous owner upgraded that and we got electric power steering in this thing, which is super awesome. Kind of difficult to find that replacement part right there, but once we figured it out, we got it swapped in there, we ordered the right part, and now, dude, we got some nice steering in this thing, dude. Dude, it finally turns perfectly, that not right. like a super difficult and stuff like that. We did order like a couple wrong rack and pinions yeah, that were like manual, which some of these cars do come with, so that's a huge plus that it has electronic steering. Exactly, dude. and we had a little issue with it, but we quickly found that a fuse was blown out, swapped that in. Also, we threw in the cooling system right there, the radiator, the fans, all that good stuff, topped everything off. We threw in a brand new coilover because the previous one, we had to kind of just rig it up a little bit and weld some things up, but you know what? Got it sitting properly and all that good stuff. And we even started it up, and I gotta say, this thing just purrs. It is healthy, dude. Dude, doesn't skip oh a beat. Goodness. I mean, this thing just sounds super good, runs flawlessly and everything, It man. does, man, and we're ready to go. The only thing right now is actually the brakes are a little bit squishy, so we gotta be real careful. We're not gonna be able to hit 200 miles an hour, which this thing is rated for that, but I think it'll be ready once we throw on like the hood and all yeah, that stuff. the hood you know I mean? and do alignment, front end alignment, stuff like that. Maybe that's just how the brakes are, are on this car. It does stop all the way, but it's just kind of a weird feeling, yeah, you know? Yeah, so we're just gonna take it easy around the block, cause some ruckus right now, and I guess you're just gonna hop into the driver's seat. We got some nice harnesses. This interior is gonna be super sweet, We're just gonna dude. go with doors off too, doors right? Off. We ain't Jeep got AC style, right now, dude. We're gonna have AC here really soon yes, because sir. we actually ordered a condenser, which is gonna be in tomorrow, and it just pops on like the end of that radiator right there yeah this thing is gonna have ac dude that's, dude, that's insane crazy. man dude, this is gonna be a pretty practical car dude honestly it is, man. man but a good looking one and like i already know people are gonna be asking what type of car this is and we're just gonna call it like the forgotto yeah. i forgotto i forgotto <laughs> dude i don't know what it is i forgotto no, you have to figure it out another dangerous thing is this steering wheel man i just noticed that it just wobbles maybe it's like broken inside but that's crazy but it's still working anyways let's jump in these kirky aluminum seats with a little bit of cushion but dude check out these seat belts man those are legit man it's like a car but let's go ahead and fire this beautiful baby up Rip right here, no alignment. We good over there? You're good, yeah, just shoot out. Oh, we got dust flying all over the place. Second gear. got to be careful on the brakes but other than that dude she absolutely rips dude wow that's insane look at that you got the motor in the back right dude, there sounds crazy with the v8 just right there and i got the like the cold air intake is on my side so i can hear the air just i can hear it too though dude, that sounds awesome man is that full throttle on? no no i don't want to get full throttle it's it's a crazy dude this thing is powerful man yeah that's crazy this is a rear engine so i know with rear Where's this a mid engine? I think you call them mid engines. Mid engine engines in the rear. In know? the rear, but then they're kind of sketchy when the engine displacement is in the rear because you can wipe out real easy, right? Yeah, easily. But just depends. It's all driver error. It depends on the car and stuff like that. And but the conditions of the road. Yeah, too. But this one actually feels pretty safe, dude. Like even with everything like not 100%, I can, it's controllable. You know what wow, I mean? Dude, that's but awesome. It spins man. those tires pretty easily, like. We can do this can be a burnout machine man dude <laughs> for real man this might be the one how's the transmission feel i don't know i mean it doesn't it doesn't it don't don't feel different but it's just crazy to think you're shifting a porsche transmission yeah you know? that's crazy yeah, it's it's mounted with a porsche transmission ls engine that's insane you know but now is it smooth clutch yeah, smooth it's really smooth clutch is smooth it's almost kind of like an in and out clutch so there may be like a a custom uh clutch in here you know yeah it might be a race clutch for sure which hey we'll take it dude anything okay. race <laughs> over the road dude that is crazy definitely needs alignment right? alignment for sure and the brakes need to be i don't know maybe there's a little bit of air in the brake system but they're, they're really hard to press down but dude this thing second gear i gassed it 
it spins out. Like second gear spins out, third gear spins out. This thing is just, it got so much power. And now I'm thinking about it, this car is super light. Dude. It is, it might be lighter than the Viper. Probably. And also you were driving the whole time with the e-brake up, so. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> it looks like it, but definitely not for sure. Oh no. I'm so far away from the clutch. Oh, you're not you're not fully engaged. This this is how I gotta sit to either press all that. We need to figure out. So that's six. How many gears does this thing got? I think six it's got gears. That's all the gears. They run perfectly smooth. Heck, you can drive in six gear. <laughs> Dang, it's crazy, dude. Imagine this at the Bristol 1000, dude. Oh my goodness, man. It'd be crazy. This would be a good competitor for the Viper. You know what I mean? I wonder what the what them head to head will look like. You know, this against the Viper. I know Viper got plenty of power. And the Viper actually sticks down to the ground. Maybe we'll just throw some new tires on this thing. You gotta warm these tires up too. I can warm them up. <laughs> oh, dude, well, let's do a burnout in this thing. We need to get our, uh, our brake. If our brakes were good, we can try though. We can try. Well, we'll probably try tomorrow in the morning. I think. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so it is the next day here and uh, we got a few things done on the GTM which we're going to show you guys right now. But I didn't even know we had rabbits or mom had rabbits. Didn't yeah, you? they just, I think they actually, um, somebody was moving out and they let mom have their rabbits. And now we got a couple rabbits out here. Too. We got a couple rabbits. We got Jules out here just having the time of her life. And also we just had a little debate with Pops. We tried to get him to drink, uh, to stop drinking Coca-Cola here. Yep. And, and I was just about to throw it away, and he's like, no, don't throw it Watch. away. Let me show you what it's good for. So we're going to see if it's good for anything. Yeah. Let's see what he's got. Okay. What is this, Pops? So look at the battery terminals. Those suckers are completely like, I don't know, they're growing that one stuff. I don't know, what do you call that? Uh, that's corrosion, I think, yeah. or something like that. Um, we Basically, so if this does something crazy to that, Watch. imagine what it does to your stomach, Watch. Pops. Yeah, you don't want this stuff Let's in your see. stomach. Let's see what happens. I don't see anything. Oh, it's bubbling up. It's fizzing. Fizzly bubbly. That's no good right there. What's it gonna do? At this point, I think you don't do the Coca-Cola method. I think you need a new battery. That looks like it's from 97. <laughs> hey, at this point, the truck is loving some Coca-Cola, dude. Yeah, the, the truck is having a good- You don't think the power old... is gonna cross with this water? Dude, it could create some sort of connection. See? Cause lightning Yeah, storm. imagine that in your stomach. You don't wanna be drinking that Coca-Cola stuff. He said he uses it to clean battery terminals, but I don't think so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that I don't about know. You, drink, you drink it though, right? Do you drink it, Pops? <laughs> dude check this out we finally got the hood on the gtm i gotta say this thing looks sick man dude, it looks good and it actually looks like it's starting to come together right here we still got a good bit more like stuff to put on the hood uh, we noticed that the, our hood latches that actually will latch and lock the hood are probably from a c5 corvette as well so we're gonna have to order those that way we can uh, drill those on, but we had to do some adjustment. It's not fully bolted on, because it's kind of weird how it opens up. It's really difficult to get in there, but for now, dude, it's on there and it looks great. It looks really good. And the next thing we're gonna move on to is probably throwing on the doors, right? Yeah, throwing on the doors, um, figuring out how to, um, how to latch this hood on so it doesn't fly up or put some rubbers under there that way it doesn't bounce. But the doors should just slide on like Jeep doors. They just slide on and they should be good to go, you know?
Alrighty guys, so the GTM finally got the doors thrown on, everything adjusted. We got the hood strapped down and all that good stuff. Pumped the brakes because they were a little bit squishy, so we got that taken care of, found out there was air in there. And look at this, guys. Dennis, do you guys remember Dennis? Oh, okay. What did I introduce you as last time? The hacker, I believe so? <laughs> I guess, Dennis yes. the hacker, bro. Dennis from Total Auto Tech. So you got married actually recently. You've I been did. doing doing your thing, man. Congratulations, thank man. You, thank you. And you're back out here to help us out with our Tesla. So for sure. Dude, this is awesome. Yeah, we that's the Tesla's been sitting for the longest time just because we couldn't get the air um, system to lift the car up and also the AC is not working. So we're gonna go fix it. We're gonna get it fixed. That is right. And uh we're all heading to the shop right now or to the new gun squad garage. We got Elazar right there taking the GTM there, and that's where we're gonna work on it. So let's head out there and we'll show you guys the we'll show you the shop. Sounds good. You gotta press brake right away, right when you start burning out. Alrighty guys, so we ended up just parking this Factory 5 GTM supercar because this thing is just way too sketchy. We couldn't get it to do a burnout, none of that stuff. I'm guessing just because the front end is so light, it's just basically bobsledding this thing. Definitely needs some adjusting, some tweaks, maybe even install line lock on this. Dude, what if we install some line lock on this Dude, thing, line man? Line lock will be an easy thing to do. I mean, you can easily install in this car and it'll probably be the best option, especially because it's manual, you know yeah. what I mean? You're not dumping Dude. the clutch and trying to like press the brakes at the same time. Yes, sir. That's awesome right there, how that just performs right now, but definitely needs a lot more work. But anyways, Dennis, you tried the dang sauce and uh, you're coming from somewhere epic. Go ahead and tell them, dude. What you think of the dang sauce first? First of all, dang sauce is really awesome, guys. I'm amazed by that taste. Dude, love it. Yeah, for sure. And then now, I'm gonna take a couple bottles with me. Yeah, oh, for sure. You're gonna TSA get TSA approved, so you can put them on the airplane. <laughs> TSA you approved. Mm -hmm. I only have a hand luggage, so. Now, I just came back from uh, a conference called uh -huh. DEF CON, yep. where a lot of hackers from around the world came in, tried to hack all of this technology. And they've been hacking SpaceX, uh, Dish Internet, and then a lot of cars hacking. Dude. And I'm still learning, but I'm amazed. You know, We need to do more security mm -hmm. for cars, especially because if somebody hacks in, that's like in the movies, it's scary. Somebody oh, wow. can get full control of your car. Hey, and that's why you see some people even like thefts, they'll just come and they'll scan your key inside your house from outside and they'll steal a car, which yep. is crazy. So the good thing that he's a, he's learning to hack because that's hackers actually help to uh, to like not let that happen. That's right, dude. Personal hacker, he's gonna hack all cars to <laughs> fix themselves, dude. <laughs> <laughs> we definitely need that right there, but we're super happy to have you out, Dennis, and you get, you're welcome anytime, honestly, dude. Thank you. So right now, I actually wanna update you guys also on the the, serv the swell, actually. So the surveyor came out and he staked out that swell right there. So we're ready to actually dig that sucker, which is just awesome. So we're gonna have the final inspection passed here really soon, but that's gonna be pretty much it for today's video. Definitely drop your comments and thoughts down below. But with all that being said, uh, we appreciate all the love and support. Yes, sir. We'll catch you guys next time. Peace.